The Forest Tector is a master of elemental damage, using techniques to both destroy their foes and keep their party healthy. Forces usually prefer to attack from a distance due to their lower HP and defense, but do have magic that can be devastating up close. Let's take a look at the skill trees for this build. First, we put 4 points into Tech Power Up 1 to unlock the rest of the skill tree. Grab Sidestep Jump, First Arts Perfect Attack Edition, Air Reversal, Perfect Recovery and Attack Combo, and Double Jump when you reach the appropriate levels. At level 80, max out high level bonus force. Next, grab Talus Tech Bonus and Talus Fast Throw, which will grant a damage bonus to techniques cast from a thrown Talus, as well as make you throw Taluses faster. Up next, you max out Photon Bullet, which allows you to shoot a magic bullet at targets when you use a normal attack with a rod. This bullet regenerates a decent amount of Photon Points when it hits enemies. Next up is Technique Power Mega Up, which we max out for a large boost to our Technique stat. Follow this by maxing out Element Conversion, which will grant a bonus to Elemental Damage you deal. The bonus is higher if you're using a technique that matches the element of your weapon, for example, using a Fire Rod to cast a Fire Spell. Next, grab Charged Escape and Rod Preservation bonus which will allow you to dodge while charging a technique and keep the fully charged technique if using a rod. Grab Charge PP Revival, which will allow you to regain photon points even when charging a technique. Next, max out Advanced Tech Perfect Attacks, which grants a damage bonus to techniques cast as perfect attacks. Maxing out Advanced Tech Charge 1 and 2 are next, and both grant a damage bonus to fully charged techniques. Force has the ability to master three different elements, but we are going to focus specifically on Fire and Lightning. Max out Flame and Lightning Masteries 1 and 2 in order to increase the damage dealt with each of those elements. Be sure to also max out Flame Tech Short Charge, which lets you charge fire techniques faster, and Lightning Tech PP Preservation, which makes Lightning Techniques cost fewer PP. The purpose of the Tector Tree is to give us additional technique power, and make us better able to support party members. Start by adding 3 points into tech power of 1 to unlock the rest of the tree. Once you reach level 80, max out high level bonus tector. Next, grab tech charge JA edition, which makes all fully charged techniques count as perfect attacks. Next, max out PP Restorate which will make your passive photon point regeneration faster, and cause it to skyrocket when you stand still. Next, max out Advanced Shifta and Advanced to Band, making the potency of those techniques higher. Follow this up with 2 points in Critical Shifta and 2 points in to Band Cut. Critical Shifta will grant a critical hit bonus to anyone you cast Shifta on, while to Band will now reduce damage received even further. Next, we max out PP Conversion, which is a skill that can be activated to grant a boost to your passive photon point regeneration for a short time, while temporarily reducing your max HP. Next, grab Super Treatment, which makes you heal and recover photon points when you heal a status effect. Tector has access to the three elements that Force does not, and we are going to take advantage of that. Max out Wind, Light, and Dark Masteries 1 and 2. Finally, max out Element Precision Hit to boost the damage dealt to an enemy when you use their elemental weakness against them. For travel, the Force has the fire technique Safoe Type 0, which cloaks the user in flames and propels them forward. While almost all area of effect techniques can be useful for mobbing, the one you'll likely find yourself using is Gizond, a lightning technique that causes electricity to bounce between several targets. Against bosses, you have a few plausible methods. Most players will use techniques that cater to the target's elemental weakness. Some common techniques used are Ragrance, which impales your target with a Spear of Light, Nazan, which turns you into a ball of electricity, and Namigid, which is a dark technique that places an explosive rune on the target. It takes a while to charge, but deals really high damage. Force players can also learn Fused Magic, which must be charged by dealing tech damage. 
When used, they deal incredibly high damage, but they have an 80 second cooldown, so make sure it counts. Don't forget, you also have support techniques. Resta can heal you and people around you. Shifta increases attack power, while the band increases defense. The skill rings we use our defense techniques, which allows us to block attacks when charging techs as well as make our dodge animation faster, allowing us to dodge more often, and perfectionist tech, which grants a damage bonus to techniques when our health is above 75%. Lastly, you should be using a tech mag with 200 levels of tech support 